Oh man, so Cardano ADA is retracing today down about 8% at the time of recording this video, opening up a red candle. What's going to happen next? Where can we build some support? What's my medium term price target in the short term here for Cardano? Um, and what is going on with Bitcoin? Because we can see Bitcoin has opened up 1.54% down. It's sitting back at that level at 41,500, which I've been warning about. And this, let's face it, is not looking good for Bitcoin coin and therefore some of our favorite altcoins so let's head straight into the charts as you can see here on bitcoin we're getting that dreaded curl around which i was talking about you can see here we've opened up another red candle here today wicking now down to 41,271 on occasions at our lows here currently sitting at 41 and a half on this horizontal support line we can see if i switch over to the four hourly you'll be able to see this is the story of what happened right so we managed to pick up some support initially from this horizontal yellow support line at about 41,000 call it 700 uh, we wicked briefly down to our violet wedge and managed to pick up some support to the upside now we then wicked to the top side at about 45,500 before being sent back down remember at this point if you watch my videos I said we need to create that higher high I was worried because we weren't creating this higher high up here okay so we had our higher low, higher low, one high. We needed this high above 45, 44 and a half thousand. And unfortunately, we didn't get it. And that signaled this turnaround to the downside. And naturally, when you turn around from this 43 and a half level, your next support level is 41,650, which we had drawn here. The worrying thing now is we're still wicking below that. And we're showing even further weakness to the downside here on Bitcoin. So the next level of support we can see here on Bitcoin, which we have to be aware of, is you know, similar to what we saw here, which is where we bounced off our violet wedge, but now the wedge is further down. So could we actually now start losing our psychological resistance at 40,000? Okay, so that's your next level here is your psychological resistance at 40,000 before you then need to pick up support from your wedge. So that's what we're looking at now here on Bitcoin, but things are getting a little bit worrying. If I again show you the weekly candles, you will see exactly what I mean, because if I, if I pull out the EMA ribbon, there we go. You will be able to see that now we are closed three. Well, we've closed two consecutive candles, weekly candles here below our EMA ribbon. And this one is just going further lower, right? It's not going in the right direction. In the past, we've seen times where we've uh, closed like here below uh, the EMA ribbon on the weekly, but then we've picked up quickly with a strong week following it and a you know, multiple strong weeks uh, into a rally and into a cycle all the way, which ultimately led us up to 69,000. But here we're not seeing that. We saw a strong negative candle. We saw an okay uh, doji candle here. And now we're seeing a, another weekly candle so far. We still have five days left for this candle, so things can change. But just to make you aware, we need this candle to get us back above our EMA ribbon. Otherwise, this could really start signaling the uh, beginning of a bear cycle here on Bitcoin. And that could be devastating for some of our favorite altcoins. But interestingly, like we saw yesterday, Cardano decided to have a massive move. Uh, and if we head over to the daily chart here on Cardano, you could see this massive candle yesterday. Uh, we, we wicked from lows in, in yesterday's candle of 134 all the way to highs of 164. You can see how attention is now starting to come to Cardano. You can see the volume candles. Uh, let's just show you these. Look at these volume candles, guys. You can see they're massively spiking up in the right direction, showing that people are starting to wake up now. They know Sunday Swap, the decentralized exchange, Change is getting ready for launch on the mainnet on Thursday, and that is getting some people's interest. Now you can see the pickup all the way from a dollar flat almost to a dollar sixty one in just a matter of days is uh, here on Cardano. It just goes to show the bullish intent here. Now, are we worried about today's daily candle? Because you can see we got rejected off the 160, 161 level. We've been sent straight back down now, currently sitting at $1.47. Now, obviously, we some of that is a natural retracement after getting hit by a resistance level here at 161, which we were expecting. But also the weakness shown by Bitcoin is going to be play a part in this as well, because you can see just a broader market is just down today, uh, which is very interesting. You can also see here, if we briefly click into the shorts, you can see here on the daily chart, the number of Bitcoin shorts in this period has picked up massively. I mean, if I just take the measurement tool, let's just do that from there to there. There you go. You can see we've had a 200% increase almost in the number of shorts on Bitcoin, which is just showing you where the market is going. If we look at the fear and greed index, you can see we're sitting at 24, still extreme fear. We've been in extreme fear for a long time now, and there's no catalyst on the horizon for us to head out of this 
you know, ditch, which is what we're in right now. So we really need things to start coming into play for Bitcoin. We're going to need some adoption. We're going to need some positive catalyst to get things moving back in the right direction. And maybe those are going to be macroeconomic trends from the wider stock market and the wider jobs figures and inflation figures. Uh, but we have to wait and see what those are before uh, when they come in. Now, coming back to ADA, what are we seeing here? Well, we're seeing this retracement down. If I head over into the four hourly, what I do want to show you is this is perfectly fine, right? To get rejected from the 161 is fine because we've still got our EMA ribbon here on the 4 hourly. We still have plenty of room to retrace. I mean, the top of the EMA ribbon will give you a 145 Cardano, but realistically, you're fine all the way up to the bottom here at 134. Given the, the speed at which we bounce back up, don't be afraid if we get a little bit of retracement, we come and test our EMA ribbon. This is actually a good thing before then attempting to bounce and rotate and break with even bigger strength, uh, head with even better momentum through the 161 level to break that level. Level. Now, medium term, what do I expect us to see? Well, for here, what you can see here on the Farley chart is we are, you can argue, we are forming a bit of a, a W pattern. OK, and a W pattern with a neckline at 161. So if we're monitoring that neck pattern at 161 here, what you can see is you can get a technical price target if you take the measured move of where this white line is telling you at about $2.14, which interestingly ties in with your Fibonacci level, which I'd drawn, of $2.11 at the 50% retracement level. So definitely a lot of uh, room here for Cardano to move to the upside. You can see here, if we flip back to the daily, we've had plenty of bleeding here on, on Cardano, almost you know unnecessarily, just due to people saying, oh, Cardano's not doing anything. Then all of this downward trend, the rhetoric was that Cardano aren't working on anything. They've you know got an over pump valuation. They don't actually have any total value locked. Well, now the developments we're seeing from a fundamental perspective in terms of Sunday Swap and a bunch of DeFi projects being built on proactively, uh, you know, from solid to Aave looking to come, uh, so, uh, sorry, uh, getting my wires crossed, um, from Meld Finance uh, to Card Starter to various other interesting things being built on the Cardano network, things are looking really positive here for Cardano, and I can expect some good movements in the price to the upside. So definitely one to keep an eye on here on Cardano. Now, if we head over to the weekly, just for completeness, guys, we can see here, that on the weekly chart, we did indeed at this point here in November, close a weekly candle bearish here. After this long-term bleed, it took a lot, but it, we did eventually flip bearish. Now, the positive news is we're managing to try rotate out of this. We need to get a candle close within our EMA ribbon. You can see here where we're at now. This is why the 161 level is so important. We got sent down to 148, which is right at the bottom of our EMA ribbon. If we can get a close above 161 on this weekly candle, we've got another five days left. We know Sunday Day swap is coming up that could be really interesting because that will give us a close back in our ema ribbon quite high up our ema ribbon as well even to be honest even 150 range is fine uh, 150 to 161 range if we get a close in this region here that would be a good start for us to then bounce and continue to work towards our next fibonacci targets and head towards two dollars and eleven before looking to get to all-time highs now naturally my next target is my fibonacci golden ratio target sitting at four dollars and 45 but you guys know here for for me Cardano is a long-term hold. I'm always looking for retracements to build my position. I had plenty of time here to accumulate and accumulate, accumulate, just like I accumulated in these positions here. Um, and I'll continue to do that, right? That's why conviction is so key. I can't stress that enough, guys. Conviction is so key because with crypto, things move really quickly. You bounce off of your floors really quickly. So if you think you can panic sell and then time the market to get back in, trust me, trust me, trust me, you will miss out on the wealth uh, making opportunity. So it's really important that you build your conviction, you you um, have you know steely conviction such that you don't panic sell, you forget about your position, you dollar cost average into it, and then you come back in a year, two years, and you look at your Cardano position based on your thesis that you think they're going to be one of the better layer one solutions. And if you don't think they are, then it's a really risky bet to be playing around with Cardano just because your friend told you about them or just because they're pumping right now in the price or just because Charles Hodgkinson said something. You really need to have deeper conviction than that. There you go, guys. There is an update on Cardano. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, probably bring you another video later on today on Coty because Coty is also managing to stay green today. Uh, so probably post a short video on Coty. So look out for that as well. As always, if you appreciate this blend between technical and fundamental analysis, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe head over to the free discord server link will be in the description below make sure you head over into there meet like-minded people if you want to support the channel a little bit more because a lot of you have asking me oh do i have a you know paid members group or somewhere where you guys can head 
consider becoming a member of this channel. Hit the join button below, become a member here on YouTube. That will give you access to our community thread, which is just for members only. And there you can ask me questions on your favorite coins, your favorite cryptos, or any other questions you have. You have access to me over there on the members only community thread. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.